Hey everybody, Kalani here, and I recently asked you all what you want to see on World Drum Club uh, as patrons of the channel. So I'm going to go over some of the requests that you made and talk a little bit about how I can help address them and how they may have been addressed already and what we can do in the future to better serve you guys since you are the patrons of the channel. So Mark um, is interested in djembe rhythms uh, with notation and conga rhythms with notation. There is some of that on the channel already. Uh, I am producing more of those things all the time. I know it's a little slow coming out because it's not the focus of the channel. Uh, the focus of the channel is world drumming. So there's a lot of other things besides just congas and djembe, but I'll do my best to get you more of that content. Thanks for that recommendation. I'm sure that's something we can all relate to and we'd all enjoy. Kevin says, um, I like the idea of drum circle games and rhythm building. He was concerned that if just sticking to West African rhythms, that some of the beginners in a group may not um, be interested or it might be too difficult or they might find it too much of a, uh, you know, too confusing or too much of a, of a task to do. And I would address your, your concern this way. Uh, first of all, um, a drum circle is an improvised music experience, so I don't even use the term drum circle games. I use the term rhythm games or musical games because a game is something that's very different from a drum circle. What I would recommend to work on the drum circle part or the improvisation part is to work on ways that you can play music that would be more interesting, challenging, engaging, um, that would shape the experience for people. So if you sense that people are getting either uh, overwhelmed with complexity or they're getting bored with the, doing the same thing. You can always change what you're doing musically by playing different rhythms, playing at different tempo, uh, playing in different volumes, you know, different meters, different feels. You can do so much with the way you play. And a book that I wrote that addresses all of those things, musical facilitation techniques is what we call them. Uh, that's called The Way of Music creating sound connections in music therapy. And even though it's written for music therapists, anybody can use that book to improve their musicality and also to get lots of ideas on how you can facilitate in the moment creative music making without having to leave the musical experience and A, do a lot of talking or B, do a lot of tasking, which is more on the game side of things. Now, if you wanna do games, which are musical experiences that have rules, that have structure. These are called play rules or givens. These are structured musical experiences that you pretty much explain how to do the game and then you play the game. So examples of that would be what's in the Amazing Gymnasium or the Drum Fun DVD. A game is something that you play and has rules. You explain them like pieces of eight, rumble ball, orbits, sound pass, all of the games that I've developed over many years you can go to those resources to learn about how to do games. But if you're doing in the moment improvisation, then I would use a musical approach. And there is a video that I did called The Drum Circle, A Musical Approach. And that's available on uh, many resources, including Amazon uh, right now. So you can get your hands on that. So that's how I would answer your question. Um, it's, it's not something that I'll probably do on this channel in terms of doing a group because this channel is mostly either me or me with one other person most of the time. But I'll see if I can work in some of the improvisational techniques into the future and we'll address those there. All right, uh, Marco is wanting to do bongos. He's wanting to learn more about bongos. Um, so I just did some more bongo content. I will be doing more in the future. Keep asking for what you want. If there's something I'm not doing, let me know and I'll try to do that for you guys. Elmar was interested in uh, Latin cha-cha-cha. I just did a video on that. So I'll try to put links to all these, but these will all be recent videos or videos whenever you're watching this video that came out around the same time as this video. So just search for those. They should all be labeled and easy to find. Christopher uh, says he runs a music therapy wellness drum circle and wanted drum circle ideas. And he appreciates... Um, or would appreciate more things on drum circle activities. So first of all, thank you. And Christopher is a music therapy intern, and I wanna thank him for following the path of music therapy as I have done. It's a wonderful wonderful profession, and you can help a lot of people. I do wanna address some of your uh, verbiage and syntax. 
Um, so drum circles are musical experiences that are for fun, for recreation, and they're done casually. And the word drum circle actually comes from this casual improvised music making. It's not really part of the music therapy canon. Music therapists have been using improvisation for many, many years. In fact, before the word drum circle really became popular, music therapists were still doing improvised drumming. We call it clinical improvisation because it's the purpose of it and the relationships that you create in it and the relationships you have with your client are very, very different than the relationships that people have in a drum circle. And the roles and the responsibilities of each party is very different. So I would first recommend that you not mix the two terms. I do not mix them. If I do a drum circle, it's outside of music therapy. When I'm a music therapist, I don't say that I'm doing drum circles. So that's one thing, but I think I understand what you mean and what you wanna do. Again, clinical improvisation is within the domain of music therapy. There's been lots of books that have been written about clinical impro improvisation, including Kenneth Bruch's book, Improvisational Models in Music Therapy, Susan Gardstrom's book, um, music th Improvisational Music Therapy for Groups, I believe it's called, and my book, The Way of Music, Creating Sound Connections in Music Therapy. All of those books will give you lots of ideas on how you can create improvised musical experiences for groups, whether you're using drums or not. Improvisation is not limited to drumming, of course. Um, you can do singing, dancing, moving, playing other instruments, whatever. Uh, so it, you don't really need to call it a drum circle. If you wanna call it a drum circle, I would reserve that for outside of music therapy, but that's just me being on the soapbox about how we talk about what we do. Um, but I would recommend for you the way of music, um, creating sound connections in music therapy. I think that's the resource that you would wanna get for that. Uh, Leslie is doing weekly classes for PTSD vets at a VA hospital. Thank you for doing that, that's wonderful. She has uh, books and CDs of my games, but like more activities for adults. Um, also some African rhythms for djembe and dundun. So the djembe and dundun stuff I've already talked about, that could be coming up soon. We've got some, there's also a lot online already from other teachers uh, for djembe and dundun, lots of resources. But if you want something specific that I can do that fits your needs better, let me know how you think I could address your needs even better maybe by simplifying something or attaching the rhythm to an outcome. I did just come out with a book called Kalani's World Rhythms. It's published by Hal Leonard. It has six arrangements that are very easy, very simple. It's created for elementary school, but I do have two West African arrangements, two Brazilian arrangements, two Latin or Caribbean arrangements with songs. What I always recommend to everybody is to do not just drumming, but do music. And I don't mean that drumming isn't music, I mean do all of the music, don't just stop at the drumming. In most cultures, drumming is for dancing, and it's for singing. And other, music, other musicians play along with drummers, of course, just like all cultures. So by limiting yourself to just drumming, or thinking that only drumming is gonna solve all or, or address all of your concerns, I think you're limiting yourself. So I would say expand, at least add some songs, whether they're traditional songs from those cultures or they're popular songs that you sing over the drumming rhythms. And that's a really fun thing to do as well. And I'll do that. We'll sing folk songs, pop songs, whatever people like. You know, if they're VA, if they're vets, they might be, now they're, they could be in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. So try to find some songs that they like from their childhood, play some drumming and sing popular songs over it. That's a really fun way to engage people, to get people excited, activated, to get them to buy into the activity, so you can do more. Um, if you're teaching traditional music, make sure it's simple. Take a song, maybe take a piece of a song or a chant and just do something that's simple and easy so people can do it in the moment without having to go through a lot of learning process. Those are the kinds of things I do. I have a lot of success with that all the time. I do lots of these things all over the place and that would be my advice for you. Okay, uh, Raven would like to have some ideas for 6-8 handheld percussion rhythms. Uh, I just did a video on 6-8 or 12-8 bell and block patterns, so you can find that. Um, we use the term 6-8 and 12-8 like somewhat interchangeably, although there are little differences. 
But I just did a video on that. I'll keep that in mind for future lessons. And that, I believe, is all I have right now. I want to thank you guys for being patrons. Thanks for supporting this channel. I hope you feel supported by me, and I'll continue to ask you what you need and do my best to address those needs. Uh, this is coming out in the middle of December, so I want to wish all of you a happy holidays and a musical and prosperous new year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the lessons.